Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how to answer the BMAT 2005, Section 2, Question 26. Which thermal decomposition reaction, out of the five given here, will require the highest temperature? So to answer this question, you need to have a rough idea about the reactivity series. And why is that? That's because the more reactive an element is, the harder it will be to displace from its oxide. I mean, the more reactive an element is, the less likely it will want to be reduced. So if you think about the reactivity series, you should know that the elements at the top, i.e. the most reactive element, will be the group one elements. And you can see from these five reactions that we do have a group one element, and that's sodium. So sodium here would be our most reactive element. So it will be the hardest to displace from its oxide, i.e. it will require the highest temperature for this reaction to happen. So our answer here is D. And if you're interested in how the other elements compare, the reactivity series is given as this. So lead is our second most reactive element here, so it will require the second highest, followed by hydrogen, then mercury, then lastly silver is our least reactive element here, so it will require the lowest temperature.